Okay, I think we are live and ready to go. So, hello and welcome to another live lesson on this channel. Thank you very much for joining me and of course choosing to learn English as well with me. Um, it's a bit cold in Japan at the moment. Uh, if you follow um, the Page One English page uh, on Facebook, uh, yesterday you would have seen the live uh, video of it snowing, which is crazy to think. Um, but yes, <laughs> it is a little bit cold. Uh, that's why I'm wearing this sweater. Uh, hoodie um, but yeah at the moment for some reason the weather has changed the temperature has dropped and uh, it started snowing so but uh, hopefully the weather will change once again and it will be nice and warm very soon <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are doing well um, and I hope you guys are ready to enjoy and learn talking about uh, future vacations or future trips so we're going to mostly look at the process of talking about them using uh, for example will and going to and other phrases that we can use to of course you um, talk about future plans but specifically we're going to try and focus more on vacations or holidays things like that uh pat hello good afternoon to you good evening to you as well um aramo hello good to see you nang hello um joan stacy hello as well grindstone good to see you all right hopefully you guys are doing extremely well thank you very much uh for joining of course and uh, fingers crossed, hopefully, more and more people uh, will be able to join us uh, as well, of course. So today's lesson is mostly looking at, um, as I said, going through uh, the conversational side of things, um, asking some questions, uh, giving a long, detailed answer about uh, your plan or your trip or vacation um, and basically using uh, some correct vocabulary correct phrases uh, that we often see of course uh, Rosemary hello good to see you uh, nice to hear that your internet is back working well thank uh, goodness for that nice to hear <laughs> all right aria hello good evening uh not snowing today which is good <laughs> um yeah uh it's still cold still very very cold but uh not snowing so um i'm happy about that yesterday was freezing um while holding uh the phone when we were walking my hands were so cold um, yeah so uh, that was nice for about 30 seconds and then afterwards it was horrible so uh, but luckily not not uh, snowing or not raining today so that was good like I'm just gonna go and share this um, with those lovely people on Facebook and hopefully they can come over and join us please come and join in the live lesson all right here we go all right done and dusted okay uh haishi hello good to see you uh from edinburgh lovely i still want to visit i want i want to take my family to edinburgh because uh, everybody says it's absolutely beautiful and wonderful um even though I lived in England for how many years? 23 years. Uh, I never went to Edinburgh. I never went to Scotland. Um, 
So yes, I would love to visit indeed. We are live now. There we go. All right. Uh, awesome. Len is also here as well. So let's get cracking on with today's lesson, of course. All right. So, oh, that is later. We shall not be doing that just yet. All right. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, a little bit of a quiz between uh, Will and going to a little bit later on, of course. Uh, so uh, let's take a look then. As we can see here, we're looking at and talking about uh, future trips, of course. So if we can take a look at our PowerPoint, all right, um, then we're going to have a look. And I'm going to start today with a little bit of a different um, theme, actually. I'm going to ask you guys a question, okay? So please answer this question in the comment section. Where would you like to go in the future and why, right? Where would you like to go? If you could go anywhere, what country, what city, uh, where would you like to go? I'm interested to know the types of places that you would love to go. Mari, hello. Chica, hello. Good to have you. Thank you very much for joining. Indeed. <laughs> Actually, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, uh, Antameng, hello, good to have you in today's live stream. Thank you for joining. So, the question on the screen, where would you like to go and why? For example, uh, would you like to go to London? Would you like to go to Canada? Uh, would you like to go to Japan? <laughs> right where would you guys like to go for a holiday or vacation in the future why do i say in the future of course because at the moment it's a little bit difficult to travel um so i want to know the places that you would like to go to all right during our hello tra hello as well awesome We've got quite a few people here. Brilliant stuff. I'm glad to see it. All right. Um, so for me, um, I would say that I've got many places. <laughs> uh, I would like to go to... Um, where would I like to go? I would like to go to Canada, as you probably already know, because I used to live in Canada and I want to show um, Len and Sophia where I used to live because it is so beautiful. The mountains are amazing. Um, it's just a lovely place. So I would like to show them where I lived before. I would like to go to the Netherlands. It's a beautiful place to go. I agree. The tulips, the windmills. Um, amazing. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. And of course, the rivers in the uh, cities as well. Amazing stuff. Aria, uh, as it's extremely hot in my country, I feel like going to a place where it's very cold. Good. My preference would be to go to Canada. Nice. Specifically, Niagara Falls, American Falls, I guess. <laughs> you've got the American side, you've got the Canadian side. Yeah, it's the same thing, but yes. <laughs> I'd like to go to Japan because I've never been there before. Yeah, I'm sure you would uh, enjoy Japan because there are lots of different things to see and do, right? Mari, I'd like to go to California, hands down. California is home, away from home, lovely. Yes, you um, stayed there before, right? So uh, a lovely place to go. Uh, Amina, hello, good to see you. I'd like to go to Hawaii, yes, uh, because I love its atmosphere. It's really relaxing and cozy. Awesome stuff, there we go. So 
of course, just to get ourselves in kind of like the mindset of thinking about uh, traveling, talking about where we're going, right? I'd like to go to Hawaii as well. Good. Another one for Hawaii. I've seen some beautiful photos. Yes. Uh, of the sea. Um, and I'm so sensitive to the cold. <laughs> I'd say. So I want to travel to a warm place. Good. Uh, Julia, if I had a chance, I'm excited to visit uh, Miami. Ooh, nice. That's a cool one. Um, Aramo, thank you. I'd like to go to Paris. Cool. Yeah, Paris is a cool place. Yes, indeed. I would like to go to England to discover all the historical places. Yes. Uh, there as well as the architecture. Nice. Uh, of the places. The weather of everything right there as I am an English learner. Yeah, good. I would like to go to a place where the view was cool and quiet. Awesome. All right. Wicked stuff. Well done. Um, some amazing uh, ideas there, actually. Uh, Hawaii is a popular one, of course. Um, many people love to go to Hawaii. But yes, Canada, England, uh, Paris is a great place to go. Uh, awesome stuff. Uh, Grindstone, good evening to you. All right. So let's kick off today. Uh, with looking at using going to. So I'm going to look at these ones here because they're very important for us to establish uh, the difference between them. Um, maybe some people are familiar with the difference. Maybe some people get confused, but it's important to look at them um, in a little bit of a different way. Okay. Um, Paishi, I would like to travel to Kyoto. Awesome. I've been, uh, I have been, I visited a few years ago. I like the Japanese food. Also like shopping in Japan, especially Eon and Daiso. <laughs> Local places, good stuff. <laughs> yes, Daiso is very, uh, uh, very popular. Yes, if anyone comes to Japan, uh, please check out Daiso. It's a cool shop to go to. So let's have a look at the difference between going to and, of course, will. So let's have a look. Going to. Why and where do we use this? So we use going to for things that are already planned or scheduled. Or if you're very traditional British, scheduled. Um, you'll notice uh, British people say scheduled, um, American people will say scheduled. I've adopted the American <laughs> after living in Japan for a long time. Uh, now, as we go along, please, uh, of course, send in your comments, uh, practicing some of these sentences and we can go through and if there are any mistakes, I'm more than happy to help correct some of those mistakes as well. But yes, we use going to for things that are already planned or scheduled. So let's take a look at a few examples here. The first one, I'm going to Switzerland tomorrow morning, right? So easy one, I'm going to, and then of course a place, right? Uh, the next one here. I'm going to visit the Eiffel Tower on the Monday. Now, this is interesting, right? You can see that we used on the Monday. Here, this means that, of course, maybe we have a week's trip. Uh, maybe we will go to um, Paris on the Thursday. And then we won't go to the Eiffel Tower until the Monday. So we use the Monday because there is only one Monday in our week. Right. Uh, hello, Lala. Thanks very much. Good to see you. Awesome stuff. Uh, the next one. Uh, we're not. We can use this uh, also for the negative side. Right. We're not going to take the bus. We're going to take the train. So if you have definitely 100% planned not to do something, 
then you can, of course, use we are not going to as well. So these are all um, good for using uh, when something is planned or not planned, right? Um, so yes, we can use those ones uh, there. Fantastic. All right. So going to is for planned things, planned events, planned trips, um, basically anything, right? So then using I will or I'll. I think it's important for us to use the contracted version because that is the most common I'll or we'll, um, etc. Um, so most commonly we would say I'll, but you can use I will, that is no problem. Where do we use this, right? So this is used for quick decisions. This is used when we don't have much time to think about something, right? So uh, let's use this as an example, right? It's really hot in here, okay? Uh, so, okay, I'll turn on the AC, right? Air conditioner. Uh, Nang, hello, Lily, hello and good evening to you. Thank you for joining. Um, so as you can see, right? Okay, I'll turn on the AC. It was a fast decision. It was very quick, right? We didn't plan it. It was just something came up, someone is hot, therefore I'll turn on the AC. So we made that decision in a short time. We didn't think about it. Uh, the next one, you can use I'll open a window or um, I'll open the window. Right? Either one uh, is okay. If there's only one window, we would use the if there are many windows, we can use a, right? Very easily uh, used in that sense. Okay, so uh, let's take a look then at the next part. All right, so um, also will is used for future plans, future trips as well, right? So we can use will for future actions that are decided um, at the time of speaking, right? We're not sure, okay? So this is again um, a very quick decision and you're not expected to have pre-planned this answer. So for example, what are you going to do tonight? Well, I didn't really think about it. Right? So, mm, uh, I think I'll watch a movie and order a pizza, right? But is it really something that I've planned? No, it's not. It's just something that I've just thought about right now. Can it change? Of course, yes. Um, these are easily changed because they are not planned, right? So maybe I go home and I don't want a pizza. Uh, maybe I'll go home and I'll, I want to cook. So it can change uh, quite quickly and quite easily. These are just thoughts uh, that we usually use uh, in the moment of now. Another example, are you going to Steve's party later? I won't have time. I have to finish this report. So as you can see here, we use won't, right? For the negative, we can use positive, I will or I'll, but negative, I won't, I will not, right? Uh, we generally use the contracted version when we're talking about negatives. I won't have time. I have to finish this report. So again, um, did I plan on not going? No, I didn't. 
maybe my report is taking longer than I expected. Therefore, unfortunately, I won't be able to go. <laughs> Very disappointed. Um, but yes, so as you can see there, those are just, I would say, the kind of easy way to see the difference between going to and will. We're going to dive deeper, is a great phrase to use, into these in just a moment. However, before we do that, uh, I will punch my microphone. And <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Sorry if it <laughs> sounded strange. Um, but yes, as you can see, we're going to use some uh, other phrases like probably and possibly. But just before we go into that, I want us to have a look at uh, this quiz, of course, will versus going to. So let's take a look at this quiz and answer either with will or with going to. All right. Again, this is probably super, super easy uh, for you guys. So hopefully you can uh, get them perfectly correct. All right, let's give it a go. Okay. So, uh, person A, what are you doing for spring vacation? Person B, something Disneyland next week. But that's about it. I'm going to or I'll go to. Which one do you use? Which one do you think is the correct answer? Write your answers in the comments. Hey, good evening. Uh, Stacy, thank you very much. Hi, she. Okay, good. Uh, Chica, thank you. Awesome. Mari, yes. All right. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> All right. Yes. Aria, okay, cool. I mean, thank you for answering. The thank you as well. All right. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, any other answers quickly? No? <laughs> All right. Um, okay, interesting, interesting. So, if you take a look here, right, what are you doing for spring vacation? Um, I would say here that it's, e it's quite easy to see because they're already telling you that this is a plan. I'm going to Disneyland next week, right? Because it's already a pre-planned trip. Um, the only difference or the only kind of difficult part is, but that's about it. That part there at the end means we don't have any other plans. We only have one plan, and that is to go to Disneyland. So it's already a pre-planned event or a pre-planned trip. So most of the time, I'm going to is the better answer here. I'm going to Disneyland next week, but that's about it. All right, because it's a, as I said, it's a pre-planned trip. The next one, um, are you staying late at the office? No, something, have dinner with my dad tonight. I'm going to, or I will, or I'll, right? Okay, which one would we use for this one? Are you staying late at the office? No, something, have dinner with my dad tonight. <laughs> Once you get one, you're kind of, it will be familiar. You'll remember it quite easily. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. Nice. Very, very good indeed. Good stuff. 
Yes. Awesome. I think everybody's getting these uh, pretty much spot on. Um, yeah, because again, it's not something that he or she um, had time to really think about. Um, we know that was this decision made quickly? Probably not, because again, we have a sort of a plan between two people. So we would have to use I'm going to because it's already pre-decided, right? We've decided it beforehand. All right. The next one. There aren't enough chairs in here for the meeting. OK, something and grab a couple from my office. I'm going to go or I'll go. Right. Yeah, Tra, Stacy, Haichi, good. Mari, well done. Very good. Aria, yes. Amina, Julia, well done. Fantastic stuff. Yeah. Chica, yes, as well. Good. Uh, and the yes, and of course, good. All right. So this one here. There aren't enough chairs in here for the meeting. Okay, something, and grab a couple from my office. All right. Yes. Okay, you guys can see the difference. <laughs> you can see the differences here. Awesome stuff. Okay, very, very well done indeed. Um, yeah, good. Well done. Yeah, Grindstone, nice. Lily, well done. Stacy, Mari, good. Julia, good. Leighton, awesome. Thank you very much. Amina, uh, Chica, Aria, yes. Uh, this one is, of course... It was a quick decision. Um, we saw that there was a problem. The solution was to decide something, right? So I'll go is the obvious one. It wasn't a pre-planned uh, thing. The next one. Oh, no, we're out of milk. <laughs> Don't worry. Something to the shop and get a bottle now. I'm going or I'll go, right? As I said, I'm sure that this is easy for many people. And I'm sure that this is pretty straightforward. But it's always good to revisit and, of course, refresh our memories of the difference between them. Um, some native people may use them a little bit interchangeably um but yes to try and understand the fundamentals is very important as well awesome great yes uh haishi chica good julia yes aria stacy yes thank you very much indeed uh lily yes um amina awesome Okay, this one here, uh, Grindstone, yes, very good indeed, well done. Um, so yes, once again, perfect. Uh, this one is I'll go, because someone just looked into the fridge, probably. <laughs> As you do, you look, oh no, we don't have any milk. Um, so yes, I decided quickly. OK, I'll go to the shop and get a bottle now. I didn't plan it. Yeah, I thought there was milk. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting. So using I'll go is the best one here. Uh, Mari, yes, good. Uh, Atameng, good job. Nice. The next one, second to last one. I'm really hot. Uh, something, just go to the vending machine. Do you want anything? I am going to aisle. <laughs> this one should be easy. There's one that you cannot use. Yes, which one is the best one? I'm really hot. Something. Just go to the vending machine. Do you want anything? 
All right. Yes. Good. Chica, fantastic. Lily, yes. Julia, Aria, yes. All right. Yes, Len, thank you very much indeed. Yes. And I 100% agree with you. It's awesome. There are more people joining today. I'm very, very, very pleased to see so many people in here. Indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, of course. Yes, everybody's got this one. Spot on. Rosemary, good. Uh, Stacy, yes. Amina Mari, good. Hi, she fantastic. Grindstone. <laughs> No, not that one. <laughs> um, yes, Ataman, good job. Uh, Dominico, hello. Good evening to you. So this one is aisle because, again, it's a quick decision, right? Oh, when you're talking about being thirsty, having a drink, you don't plan. There is no plan for it. So we would use aisle right i'll just go to the vending machine do you want anything all right okay yes nang good job uh the next one the last one okay i can't wait for the weekend because something to a musical with my friends in london okay yusuf hello all right hope you are doing well thank you very much of course uh nang okay all right interesting <laughs> i can't wait for the weekend because something to a musical with my friends in london i'm going or i'll go right Think about this one, a musical, um, kind of like a show, an event. Do we need tickets? Do you think? If we need tickets, what do we need to do? Yeah, before. <laughs> uh, Dominico, yes, good. Um, Antomeng, yes, good. Well done, Rosemary, Stacy, good. Yusuf, awesome. Uh, the Grindstone, Lily, uh, Aria, Amina, yes. Julia, Chica, fantastic. Hi, she, well done. Um, I'm going to because you have to buy a ticket, right? Um, so you plan in advance uh, it's the same as when of course you go on a vacation right you buy an airplane ticket or an airplane ticket um, so you talk about that trip as i'm going to because you already planned it right so yes that is the correct answer awesome well done indeed um, so that's just a good uh, example of basically differentiating between I'm going and of course will or I'll all right let's head back over to our PowerPoint presentation and now we're going to dive into things a little bit more deeper and more interesting uh, I would say using going to and using will, that is the fundamentals, the, the kind of like the easy part of it. I want to now kind of give you guys more natural expressions to be able to communicate and express yourselves in a better way. So, as you can see here, we've got probably and possibly, right? Um, so we can use these examples here to express uncertainty uh, about something. Um, basically, we are not really sure if it will or will not happen. We don't know. So when we use uh, probably and possibly, it's great because it's expressing ourselves more naturally. Okay. Panji, hello. Good evening to you too. Thank you ever so much for joining. Um, so let's take a look here. 
when we use uh, the positive form of probably and possibly, uh, we generally use um, the contracted form of will, right? Um, but before that, we use the subject, right? So I becomes I'll, we becomes we'll. Subject plus l, I'll, we'll, and then the adverb, probably or possibly, okay? So, for example, here, all right, we can use this one here, of course. Are you going to meet Pete when you're in London? I'll, so as you can see, subject, I, and then contracted version of will, I'll probably meet him on my last day if he's not busy. Right? Yes. No, not die. Not, <laughs> not die into. Dive. Dive into. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for clearing that one up. Yes. Um, yes, this one is, of course, using it in a positive, right? I'll probably meet him uh, on my last day. Is it going to happen? Possibly it will, probably it will, but we are not 100% sure. We don't know. That's why we can use will plus the adverb probably. Um, another one. Where are you going to buy your souvenirs? We'll possibly go to the local markets, right? Yes, we'll possibly. Are there any local markets there? I don't know. Maybe. If there are, I'm going. <laughs> if not, then I won't. Uh, but yes, we can use, we'll possibly go to the local markets. Again, we are not sure. All right. So yes, in that sense, uh, it's something that we are not really certain about. So we can use these for pretty much anything. Yeah. We Basically, if your friends are talking to you and they're asking you about your weekend, what are you going to do this weekend? I don't really know. I'll probably uh, go to the park and walk the dog. Um, but I haven't decided yet. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, can it change? Yes, of course it can change. Uh, is it a planned event, a planned activity? No, it's not. Uh, that's where it's great for us to use if we are not sure, if we are uncertain about it. All right. So just quickly uh, for you guys, using this example here, um, let's try and use them together. What are you going to do on Saturday? What are you going to do on Saturday? You can use going to if you have a plan. If you're not sure, then you can use probably or possibly, right? There is a chance, but you are not 100% sure. Oh, yes, that's what I mean, is that there is an element of uncertainty. If we are sure, we would use going to, right? If I was 100% sure, I'm going to the park to play tennis, right? Um, but I'm unsure, I'll probably go to the park um, and walk my dog. Maybe if the sun's better, like it's, if it's warmer, uh, I'll go to the beach. <laughs> uh, there's an element of uncertainty and not plan, right? So probably is a is thirty percent and possibly is eighty percent. Um, <laughs> good question. There's not really a percentage on it. Like I would say, na native like speakers. Um, 
yeah i would say native speakers don't really care about like percentages and they would probably use there you go probably uh they would use these um kind of interchangeably um whether that is a hundred percent perfect again people may argue but it's a natural way of communicating uh, i never think which one do i need to use possibly or probably i could use either of them right are you going to meet pete when you're in london i'll possibly meet him on my last day if he's not busy i can change it it doesn't really make too much of a difference to uh the answer so i wouldn't like to say that there's a specific percentage for each of them all right i'll probably see my daughter uh in her campus nice that's awesome very very cool indeed all right great use of it very very good indeed okay so now we can always use them with the negative as well right if we got if we can use them with a positive we can also use them with the negative as well so in this case uh we use the negative form um basically we use the subject followed by the adverb then using the contracted verb uh sorry the contracted form of will not so it's subject and then probably possibly and then won't right subject adverb won't right uh stacy i'll possibly study english at home this saturday awesome well done very very cool indeed all right so let's take a look at this example are you going to visit manchester uh we probably won't have time to visit manchester right as you can see we probably won't again here uh you're using the negative form of course right uh julia i will probably go out for window shopping good uh the we don't need but nice window shopping on saturday uh to chill out yes good 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 uh dominico i'll probably visit my friends in liverpool when i pop over to the uk to take the ielts test lovely very good indeed yes uh liverpool uh is a cool place to go of course all right good so the next one here uh will you go to disneyland right uh i possibly won't because it's a little expensive right so i possibly won't because it's a little expensive so again here um you can change them around right i could say i probably won't because it's a little expensive uh are you going to visit manchester we possibly won't have time to visit manchester right either one is okay to use however i would say that personally i use probably more often that is just my preference um some people may have other preferences but for me i often use probably it's just something that i've naturally uh adopted over the years um it's probably one of my again there we go my favorite ones to use um so it just comes naturally to me uh, i don't really use possibly so much right cool okay so the next part then is using this one here hopefully plus will i probably won't go won't go uh to a swimming pool this evening yeah good yeah i probably won't go good nice absolutely perfect all right now hopefully plus will 
is another great one to use because this gives you the chance to basically exp sorry express something that you want to do but you are not sure it's possible right this is usually because of some other factors right yeah we can we can say hopefully plus the subject plus will right so for example uh, hopefully i will right we could invert it i will hopefully that's okay as well but sometimes or most of the time we would say hopefully and then subject plus will all right uh hope you're doing well nadia yes i'm doing very well thank you very much for asking uh rosemary i'll probably have some leech on lovely uh but it's possibly not good for me to get some it's so expensive okay great lovely stuff all right so what are some of the factors that i think can contribute to this they are or they could be the weather right availability what do we mean by availability tickets yes right if you want to go to an event and you need to get a ticket probably limited tickets right so if you try but you cannot get it then it's not your fault <laughs> you cannot change that right it could be a season the seasonal event right it could be the time has changed so sometimes these factors are not in your control uh, so let's take a look at an example. Um, are you going to watch a football match when you go to England? It's a good idea to try, by the way. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll watch one of the top teams. We have to buy tickets when we get there. So in this example, again, it's looking at a ticketed event. So we don't know is it sold out um <laughs> i was going to make a joke uh for example chelsea uh they cannot sell tickets at the moment so uh nobody can buy tickets for chelsea um so that's not a good uh, option but as you can see is if the event has limited availability you have to wait and see you can try, but if you cannot get a ticket, then, oh, it's a shame. But hopefully we want to try and get something, right? So let's have a look at another uh, example here. I'm planning to. Okay, so this one is a good one as well, right? So we we could use this as kind of a replacement for going to um but it's not as strong as going to right uh, as i said if you guys want to practice some of the phrases and the vocabulary as we go along please do i enjoy reading your comments your ideas um your examples so as we go along uh just try and use some of these uh throw out many different um examples i don't mind okay um but when we're talking about using i'm planning to this means that we are still kind of unsure we're not 100 percent right and it could change at any time so it's not a direct replacement for i'm going to 
So it just means that there is a plan that you're maybe going to do. Uh, Julia, I won't. Um, yes, I won't. Prob so in this case, I have to change that one. Uh, subject, adverb, and then won't. I probably won't go out tonight because it might be bad weather. Yes, during these days, according to the weather forecasts. Oh, good. Uh, I would like to watch one of the top teams in the Premier League. Yes, but I possibly won't have time to do that. Good. You should watch Manchester United. <laughs> Okay, no, you shouldn't watch Manchester United. They're terrible at the moment. Um, <laughs> Liverpool's much better. <laughs> okay, so here, for example, right? What are you doing this weekend? I'm planning to take the dog for a walk along the beach. Nice. That's a great plan. Can it change? Of course. If it starts snowing, do you really want to go to the beach? Hmm, not particularly, right? Uh, so yes, we can use that one there. The next one here, we're planning to go to as many museums as we can. So that's a great one. There's no specific number, like we are going to 300 museums <laughs> that's just not possible <laughs> but we can say we are planning to go to as many museums as possible it doesn't mean that there's a specific plan it could mean 10 it could mean five it could mean eight who knows yeah but within the time we want to visit as many as we can. I'm planning to learn Korean next month. Wonderful. There we go. Talking about future. I'm using this as like a travel um, example, but we can apply these to so many different uh, topics, to so many different situations. Yes. Great. Uh, Lan, good evening. Long time no see. Thank you very much for joining. All right. So that's using I'm planning to. OK, so now we're getting into the sort of the idea of using so many different phrases and vocabulary to express ourselves. And the next ones that we have, I think, are also incredibly useful. I might and I'm thinking about. Again, these are not as strong as, for example, I'm planning to, uh, or for example, going to, or I will. These will express, again, that you're, you're just having an idea, but Again, you are undecided. When we use might, it's very much, I would say, 50-50, right? I'm thinking about, again, it could be 50-50 as well. Um, there is no real certainty to anything, right? So in this case here, I might stay in Vancouver for one week. I'm not really sure. OK, so, yeah, we can use that one. Maybe I like Vancouver, so I stay for one week or maybe I don't like Vancouver. So I want to leave after one day. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's a. There's a real uncertainty to it, right? Uh, how about I am considering uh, or I'm contemplating? Yeah, yeah, good. You can use this one there. Those are, um, those are great. Julia, absolutely no problem. I'm considering um, or I'm contemplating. 
we don't really need to worry about using about, right? In this, for these two examples, uh, which are great examples, you can drop about. So you can say, I'm contemplating or I'm considering. No problem at all. Very good. Those are quite, um, I would say, more formal words than I'm thinking about. So, for example, if I'm talking with friends, I wouldn't use contemplating or considering uh, so much, right? Um, I would use them in more sort of like formal situations, but they are great words to use. Uh, I'm planning to go to the beach on Sunday. Lovely. I'm planning to try as many local dishes as I possibly can. Yes, good. Uh, Domenico, if you want to try jellied eels, go for it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll be interested to know what you think. <laughs> All right. Um, good. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to practice this again, but it probably won't do. Uh, probably, I, pro I probably won't do it at midnight. Good. I'm thinking about hanging out with my friends this weekend. Good. Okay. So, as you can see here, I'm thinking about staying at the Ritz. But we'll have to see. Yes. <laughs> I can think about it, but I cannot afford it. It's so expensive to stay at such uh, a wonderful luxurious hotel <laughs> all right uh so yes okay uh, i might visit anfield but i'm not sure about that it will probably depend on how much time i'll have on my hands lovely there we go right fantastic stuff indeed so there are many ways for us to um of course talk about and express ourselves Okay, very good indeed. Uh, just before I move on to the next part, um, seeing as though uh, you guys are sticking around in that, if you do have a couple of seconds, uh, if you can like the, of course, uh, video for today, uh, it certainly does help get the video pushed out to more people. Um, so if you can, uh, please go ahead and like the uh, live stream for now. Uh, but yes, uh, let's move on, of course. The next part is using this all together in a long answer. Some of you have already been trying. So thank you very much. Well done. So I wanted to prepare this long answer um, just to show you that we can put lots of different ideas together. If you want to try and put your own together, go ahead, please be my guest and try a long answer by yourselves. Um, I will read through some of them, um, so no problem at all. So let's take a look. We've put in here some, if not most of, the uh, vocabulary, I need, lost my train of thought then, vocabulary and phrases that we've just looked at. So let's take a look. Where are you going on holiday? Uh, in England, we say holiday. America, they say vacation. Uh, we are going to London for two weeks in July. I can't wait. We are going to visit all of the famous sites and hopefully we'll see the changing of the guard outside Buckingham Palace. It looks amazing. We probably won't have time to visit Scotland, though, because we'll possibly stay in the Cotswolds for a few days to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and just chill out. So, as you can see there, We've used, um, of course, going to. Uh, we've used uh, here as well, we will, uh, or hopefully we will, again. Um, 
we probably won't right uh we'll possibly okay so just to express ourselves in different ways you can see in this example it flows much more naturally rather than using going to all of the time right we can express ourselves in a much more fluent and smoother way so it shows you that putting these together creates a much more well-rounded um, answer to this question for example in IELTS or in Cambridge testing like this this answer would be considered to be very good because you're demonstrating lots of different skills lots of different vocabulary uh, you're not repeating the same vocabulary um, which will help you of course score much higher um, for those of you who are interested in IELTS or uh, Cambridge testing of course all right so yes we've got those ones uh, here all right uh, Julia I'm thinking about a day trip um, to uh, this one here I'm thinking about a day trip out of town uh, but I'm not sure and it will depend on my friends ideas yes um, in this case a day trip you two we don't need uh, because out of town is not a specific place if we use two it's usually to a specific place all right I might see an opera next month Ooh, very interesting I've never seen an opera <laughs> okay cool so as you can see there right those are just some examples of uh, putting it together and demonstrating a little bit more of a well-rounded answer so now uh, what we can do of course is we can have a look at a sort of question or some questions that we can use to ask people so just quickly brainstorm um, again in the comments what kind of questions would you ask your friends or your family about their trips or about their holidays so for example um, we can use this one what are you going to do at or on the weekend or what are you going to do uh, for spring vacation right uh, for summer vacation um, notice actually in this case um, we use either at or on for the weekend but when we're talking about a seasonal holiday we usually use for right for Christmas holidays for uh, for New Year right so we would use those ones there but yes what are some other questions that you usually ask friends or family about holidays or vacations okay let me know please okay uh, Dominico yes yeah, in IELTS, you need to show the examiner that you are well versed in a wide range of vocabulary. Absolutely. Yes. Um, it's important, very, very important to show that you can come up with new ideas and not repeat um, the same um, vocabulary, the same sentences. Right. We're, we're trying to create natural conversations uh, and therefore being being able to build on uh, your original uh, statements your original ideas and branch off into sort of other areas to showcase your vocabulary grammar skills idioms etc that will give you a much more um, well-rounded um, opinion right from the examiner so yes uh, so yes going back to this one what are some of the questions that we can use 
So we are going, what are you going to do at or on the weekend? Any other ideas? What else can we use here? No? All right, uh, I'll give my examples. For example, uh, what are you going to do for, as I said, uh, the holiday? Um, are you going to, right? Using a closed question, right? Are you going to Buckingham Palace? Yes. Um, will you as well, right? You can use either one, right? Will you, uh, will you try fish and chips? <laughs> or will you try sushi? Okay, any of those are okay for us to use. What are you planning to do for summer vacation? Yes, there we go. Where are you going to on your next summer holiday? Lovely, good. What are you going to get up to this weekend? Good, I like it. Uh, well, I'm planning, uh, planning to hang out with my friends and have some fun together. I think it's going to be a sort of catch up because we haven't met for ages. Good, 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 good. I'm going to Nepal next month. I am excited to go. I'm going to visit all of the tourist spots. Uh, I would probably go, uh, in this case here, I will, I will. I will probably go trekking and visit many temples. Good, uh, very, very good indeed. Okay, just change would for will. Uh, who are you going with? Um, what are you going to do there? So using these as follow-up questions, right? Um, why? <laughs> why are you going there? Uh, <laughs> I don't really like this question so much. Um, you have to be careful of how you, how you ask why, right? Um, I, I would say that you, you, you would have to ask it in a more sort of questionable way like you're you're inquisitive you you want to know like oh, why why are you going there right why are you going to new york it's interesting um so you you have to ask it in a more intriguing way because it can come across a little bit rude why why are you going there oh well I'm sorry. <laughs> should should I not go there? Um, yeah, it can be a little bit uh, strange sometimes if we ask it in a more direct manner. <laughs> OK, cool. Uh, what is more exciting about that place? Good. Yeah, cool. Uh, I'm thinking about having coffee with my friends uh, on the weekend. Um, but I'm not sure about the coronavirus circumstance in my hometown right now. Hopefully we will hang out on Saturday. Uh, Dee, that's a great example. Well done. Thank you very much. Okay. Rosemary, uh, no problem. Thanks very much for joining. It was great to have you in, of course, the live lesson. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, I wish you well. The next one, you could use this one to kind of mellow it out a little bit why did you decide to go to um yes so let's say you're planning on going uh, on holiday and you decided to go to hawaii oh why did you decide to go to hawaii oh because uh we want to visit many volcanoes uh and we are planning on uh, hiking uh, up one of the big volcanoes uh, in Hawaii. So you can ask it in a more friendlier way, <laughs> which is good, right? Not so direct. Okay, so uh, looking at all of these questions, we can now uh, actually use these for uh, our conversation, right? So we're gonna have a look at an example conversation, but let me just have a look here. From the, so from time to time, it feels good to catch up with each other's lives. I think we might also have a slap up meal. Great. Um, uh, Antime, I'm going to uh, 
Manalo for six days in June. Good, nice. I'm going to see my daughter and her grandparents, and I will probably visit my friend in uh, Bunaken Island. Uh, hopefully to enjoy the discount for dives there. <laughs> nice. I like that. Hopefully. <laughs> Good. All right. How long are you going to stay? Yes. There we go. That's a great question to use as well. Yeah. Always asking about the length of time that you're going somewhere. Well done. Good. Okay. Let's take a look at an example conversation here. Uh, what are you going to do for spring vacation? Oh, I'm going to Kyoto for three days. But we might stay a little longer because we are thinking about going to Nara as well. Nice. Who are you going with? I'm going with my friend from high school. We're going to visit all of the old temples and shrines. Sounds great. Are you going to visit Debbie? We'll probably visit her on the last day if she isn't busy. Hopefully we'll go out for dinner together. How about you? What are you going to do for the vacation? All right. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to New York for a week. Really? Yeah, I've always wanted to go. Luckily, my sister invited me to go with her. That's awesome. Will you go sightseeing? Yes, we're going to go to the most to most of the famous places like Times Square uh, and the Statue of Liberty, etc. But we probably won't have time to visit all of them because we are planning to fly to Las Vegas for a couple of days. I'm sure you'll have an amazing trip. I hope the weather is nice for you. Thanks. Have a great vacation. You too. Bye. All right. So it's quite easy for us to look at it in a one way situation, right? We looked at it in terms of giving an answer for examination purposes. But now we can look at it in conversation and how we can apply it to these different questions and interactions that we have with friends and family. All right. So could we say whom are you going with? Um, yes, you can. Um, that's fine. But again, naturally, I would say that most people would use who. Um, again, as I, say, as I usually say to my students, there are sometimes things where maybe the, how do I put it? <laughs> the perfect English is not the best. So sometimes maybe using for example whom are you going with is fine but naturally speaking in a fluent way most people would say who who are you going with um so yes i would say yes no problem but sometimes uh people will not use uh who um it all depends on again their preference okay so let's go back to that conversation okay and for this one i would like you guys to use the red sentences i will use the black sentences okay so let's practice uh, together and hopefully it's easier to see i made it a little bit bigger for today's uh, lesson so hopefully uh, it's much better for you. All right. So uh, you guys are going to be using the red sentences. I will be using the black ones. So let's give it a try. Uh, what are you doing for spring vacation? Okay, Your turn. Nice. 
Who are you going with? That sounds great. Are you going to visit Debbie? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to New York for a week. Yeah, I've always wanted to go. Luckily, my sister invited me to go with her. Yes, we're going to go to most of the famous places like Times Square, the Statue of Liberty, etc. But we probably won't have time to visit all of them because we are planning to fly to Las Vegas for a couple of days. Thanks. Have a great vacation. All right. Awesome stuff. OK, uh, so now let's, of course, as usual, let's go back and we will change. We will swap over the roles. Uh, this time I will use the red sentences and you guys will use the black sentences okay so let's go back and switch over okay so this time you will be starting the conversation so you're starting using the black sentences okay let's give it a try please start us off okay go Oh, I'm going to Kyoto for three days, but me what? <laughs> but we might stay a little longer because we are thinking about going to Nara as well. I'm going with my friend from high school. We're going to visit all the old temples and shrines. We'll probably visit her on the last day, if she isn't busy. Hopefully, we'll go out for dinner together. How about you? What are you going to do for the vacation? Really? That's awesome. Will you go sightseeing? I'm sure you'll have an amazing trip. I hope the weather is nice for you.
you too. Bye. Awesome. Well done indeed. So as you can see there, that was just an example uh, conversation, short conversation that you can have with friends, with colleagues, with classmates, right? Um, this is useful for many situations, talking casually uh, with people there. So very, very well done uh, indeed. Fantastic. Um, so fantastic stuff. Now, just quickly, um, I mentioned earlier that there was a uh, changing of the guard, right? I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with um, with this. So if you're not familiar with it, uh, I wanted to show you uh, just quickly. Uh, what it looks like. If you will spare a couple of moments, I will show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, uh, so uh, let's go back to here and I will turn off this one and I will open up a new window and I will show you what it looks like. Where are we now? here okay yes there we go so this here is the changing of the guard basically um, what happens is is that the guards that you see uh, outside Buckingham Palace they have a routine of changing and they will often perform that change for people to see. Uh, that's why we call it the changing of the guard. So for example, you can see that the gates are open, people are watching. Um, it's pretty amazing uh, if you get the perfect day. Um, I've never been to it, but if you ever go to London, I suggest checking the days and the times and then hopefully you'll be able to see uh, this um, event because I think it happens every two or three days maybe I'm not sure but uh, yes it's a fantastic um, yeah a fantastic spectacle very 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 um, amazing uh, indeed uh, you can see them here yeah all marching through uh, the street just before uh, Buckingham Palace and uh, many people line up to to watch them of course so uh, it's quite a quite a good thing uh, to go to if you of course uh, go to London all right so I just wanted to show you because uh, that was something maybe many people are not familiar with okay uh, all right, guys, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Uh, it's been uh, a blast. It's been fantastic. Um, I really, really enjoyed uh, getting your examples, uh, knowing like what you're wanting to do or what you're going to do. Uh, so thank you very much indeed. Uh, hopefully that helped you uh, use some more vocabulary. Um, hopefully that lesson helped you um, kind of understand that you can express yourself in many different ways. You don't have to limit to just a few phrases and sentences. Um, but yes, thank you all very much indeed. Uh, if you do have the time, as I said before, um, thank you very much for those of you who already liked the live stream but if you haven't if you can please go ahead and do so it means a lot of course uh Clow, thank you very much didn't realize you were in the lesson <laughs> okay um thank you very much indeed the thank you of course my pleasure uh dominico no problem at all uh thank you as well uh aria my pleasure of course as always 
thank you very much indeed um all right guys of course uh that was uh of course looking at and talking about future trips vacations holidays and how to express uh what you're going to do what you want to do and of course uh using different vocabulary and phrases uh hi she my pleasure indeed thank you of course for joining as well uh i will be back uh of course for another uh, recorded video on saturday however watch out maybe in the next couple of days i might be uploading another video before saturday um i'm not 100 percent sure yet that's why i said i might there we go so i can use it for this <laughs> all right um so yes uh, I might upload another um, recorded video. So um, it will probably be a video where it's again another real conversation. Um, and this time it will probably be between myself and Len, right? So you can get an idea of uh, a different conversation of two parties, right? So look out for that one um again i'm not sure when i don't want to say uh perfectly like it's going to be on this time or this day um but there will be a video on saturday and then uh, as i said between then maybe i will upload another one of course all right guys that is it for me thank you all very much of course julia uh thank you <laughs> i appreciate uh those uh, lovely words nang thank you very much as always tra my pleasure uh and uh, atameng thank you very much as well all right guys i hope you all are very well and of course enjoy the rest of your day today uh have fun and i will see you all in the next video and also, don't forget to share and like uh, the channel. Uh, let's try and grow the community. Today's been amazing. We've gotten lots and lots of more people involved. So uh, thank you very much. And that's all down to you guys. You've been absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, but yes, I will see you very soon. Take care and bye-bye.